Welcome back to the In Real Life podcast. This month on the podcast, we are leaking four of our exclusive trainings that you can only find if you are a member of our Facebook group, Work Life Balance for Empowered and Stoppable Women. These four trainings are huge time savers and so short so that you can get the information and take action quickly. Enjoy. So today we're going to dive into the one and only thing that you need to fully invest in in order to be able to give the most to other people in your life, just like what we were talking about with the founding member thing. Um, so if you're out of time, out of money, out of energy, but you still want to give the people that you love and like give the people you loved as much as you possibly can, this is the one thing that you need to know. So um, we're going to get you moving in the direction of having all that you needed more to be able to pour your heart and soul into those you love. So take it away, yeah. Jess. <laughs> so we totally get it. You feel like you don't have the time, the money, or the energy to take care of yourself because you have other people and other tasks and other things that you have to take care of first. But it is a vicious cycle. You have got to be investing the energy, the time, and sometimes money into yourself before you can actually do it anywhere else and especially do it well. Like, it's so easy to just get into that cycle of, oh, I'm taking care of this, I'm taking care of the kids, taking care of the husband, taking care of the things at work, taking care of the tasks. Like, I'll eat lunch later, like Sierra said. I'll, you know, I'll go to the bathroom later. I'll take a shower later. I'll nap later. I'll get sleep later. Like, who cares? I just need to keep going for all these other things. But if we actually fuel ourselves first, which means investing something into ourselves first, we can do all of that. We can do it better. And we feel really, really good about it because we've already taken care of ourselves too. And it's really not a huge energy or money commitment. It's just making the commitment to actually do it. I, I don't know if you're pausing or I'm pausing. So hopefully this is coming through. Okay. I can, I can get hear like, you. Okay, cool. You're cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, and this is something that I definitely really learned myself because I used to not invest anything into myself. I was just like, okay, like I'm a Marine wife. I take care of the husband. I take care of the child. I take care of the house. I take care of the tasks. I take care of any work that I have to just like keep going. Like, oh yeah, this is fueling me. This is fueling me. It's fine. Or this, like I come later, whatever. That's just, this is what, this is what life is right now. But once I actually started taking even just 15 minutes to fuel me before anything else in whatever way actually fuels me, like life started to explode in the best way ever. So they, I know it's cliche. I know you hear it a lot, but like putting on your oxygen mask first so that you can actually breathe long enough to do anything else for anyone else and do it well, like I said, is so true. It's like the best metaphor for life. We have to fill ourselves. We have to fill ourselves so that we can do the other things that we want to do. So I can't express how important this is enough, but that is like the number one thing to invest in is yourself in some sort of way so that you can do the other things you want to do. And I definitely, I hear you on the other side, like, yeah, but like, there's all, I know there's a yeah, but in there, like, yeah, but I have to pay the bills or yeah, but there's just no extra time in the day. And I assure you that there is, and I'm not trying to be harsh or tell you you're wrong. I just, I promise you, like Jessica and I have done this and we've done it with every woman that has worked with us. We have been able to find where the, the free space is or where the time suck is. Like there is probably, if you don't feel like you have the time, if you don't have the energy, if you don't have the, the finances, there is something sucking that away from you and, and it can be mended. And then once it's mended, you have the energy, the, the strength, the time and the finances to be able to to step forward into doing what you need to do. And that could be investing in yourself. Maybe the time suck is just a mindset or the, the money suck there is just a mindset thing. You don't think you're worth it. I can promise you you're worth it. I can promise you that investing a little in yourself is it selfish if it means you're gonna be stronger for the people that need you. There's, if you feel like you can't even spend $20 on yourself, you gotta, you have to sit with that and, and really work on like, why do I feel that way about myself? What's holding me back from spending money on myself? 
when I spend money on all these other people or all these other things, or I, I don't have a problem buying a hundred dollars worth of groceries, even though I have to throw away half of it, you know, like there's different things that we, we can justify, but when it comes to ourselves, we instantly put the X up and like, I don't know. If, and maybe I, the examples I just gave don't fully speak with you, but no matter what, if you're putting the X up on spending any time, energy or money on yourself, it's probably something you need to work on in your mind and work through that in order to have the strength to like push through. So um, one other thing that I wanted to mention is that there might be some people in your life that are draining that from you. They might be the suck in and of themselves, <laughs> which is hard, especially if you love these people or if they're your boss and you can't get away from these people. It's, it's definitely a challenge when the people are what's draining any of your resources. So what you need to do in this situation is, is get up some strength and set clear boundaries. It is time for you to, to draw the line between you and the person that's taking all of those resources away from you, or even one of those resources away from you, because you don't deserve that. You deserve to have an abundant amount of time, energy, and money. Like that's, you deserve that. And if someone is keeping that, keeping you from that, look at the different ways that you can set up a fence. It may not be cutting them from your life completely, but it's just drawing a, a, a line in the sand, building a fence and saying, hey, that's you. This is me. I'm going to take this hour for myself because I deserve it and I need it in order to not get burnt out. I'm sorry that that makes you feel guilty. I'm not going to let that affect my decision. So that's a little um, encouragement for you because if someone's <laughs> making you feel terrible for fueling yourself, there's something not very nice about them. That's something that they need to work on. That's not something that you have to carry a, a burden on. So, um, and by setting mm -hmm. that boundary, you might even be helping them to not take advantage of other people in their lives. So be bold, take, take the steps <laughs> towards making boundaries. Yes. Oh, I love what you had to say there. That was awesome. Uh, so do you guys see how taking time for yourself and setting those boundaries and all of that can actually add time, energy, and maybe even the financial ability to pour into others because you've done it for yourself? I mean, it's even, it's hard to do things for others if you don't know how to do it in the first place. So it's, that's another way that it's just, it's this, it can go from a vicious cycle to like a beautiful growing cycle altogether. Uh, I mean, imagine what it would feel like if you no longer had to worry about, you know, when are you going to take a shower or how are you going to take care of all these people or how are you going to continue to pour into them? But instead you could actually just focus on the things in your life and the things in your business that you've been dying to create and do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me, it's been a game changer. I mean, honestly, like I said, I used to be. Oh no, Sierra. Oh, can you not hear me? Oh no. Can you hear me now? No. Hello. I didn't at first. You caught up. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I was just saying like, for me, it's been a game changer because I used to skip lunch. I used to run around like a chicken with my head cut off. I used to think I didn't have time to, to figure out my time or money to invest in myself. And once I changed my mindset around it and started fueling myself first, I was able, I'm now able to show up for my family in amazing ways and they feel it. They notice the difference in me. I'm, mommy's happier. <laughs> my, my husband's wife is pleasant to be around when he gets home from work, you know, like it's just, it, it totally changes who you are. So that's it. Thanks for joining us this week. Again, you can find us on Facebook, Work Life Balance for Empowered Unstoppable Women. And if you would like to join because you would like to be that person or you would like to be surrounded by those people or you are one of those people, make sure that you click the link in the notes and you can join us there every single week for a new training.